Uh, Minister, uh, in the programme for government, there was quite a significant uh, section in relation to balanced regional development, which I have raised on many occasions. But that balanced regional development, while it may be occurring in some areas, is certainly not happening in my con constituency of Roscommon Galway. I would say it's the, the, the most neglected in terms of job creation. My colleague recently, Deputy um, Billy Keller, put down a question in relation to vacant IDA sites. It showed that nationally 64% of IDA properties were vacant. Let me look, give you the list in Roscommon Galway. Roscommon Town, 4.8 hectares vacant. Castlery 1.2 hectare acres vacant, Ballinasloe 8.8, .8. Ballygard 3.4, smaller areas in Mount Bally and Glenamady, and the Tune Business Park, which straddles that constituency, has 2.17 hectares. There is no attempt by this government, no matter what notes come from the Chief Whip to you right now, to give jobs to my constituency of Riscam and Galway. And I ask you to seize the opportunity when thousands of jobs are coming into Galway and we can't get work down in our region. The fact of the matter, as I've pointed out before, is that 900 people right, leave our Deputy constituency daily to travel to work in Dublin. What are you going to do about it? Ken Corlin, and thank you, Deputy, for the question. I mean, we're seeing jobs growth in every region of the country because of the measures that this government has implemented under the Action Plan for Jobs. At the moment and today, Minister Humphreys is launching one of the first of her regional action plans for jobs, which is a more detailed focus on regions of the country that aren't doing as well as others to help increase their job creation. I think it's very important to note as well that with the urban and the rural regeneration funds, hundreds of millions will be spent um, and investment has been uh, granted to, 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 to your own area, Deputy, in terms of making those investments to regenerate towns and areas so that we can have more people come to live there and to work there as well. And we know that over the course of the next 20 years, the additional 1 million people who will be living in this country, 75% will be living outside of Dublin. That's why we have the Regional Spatial Economic Strategies being finalised at the moment to plan and manage that growth and the investment in jobs, Deputy, that's happening as well. And the statistics show that there is job creation happening. It's not happening evenly everywhere, but that's why we have Thank these now Minister. detailed regional action plans from Minister Humphreys. Deputy John